Today I'm going in for my last round of chemo and I can't wait. Well, hi everyone. Since today is my last chemo treatment out of eight cycles, I started this back at the end of October and am thrilled that I've made it through the eight cycles and uh, today is my last chemo treatment. So very excited about that. Uh, even though I know I'm going to be feeling crappy uh, the next couple weeks, um, I know it's over after that. So what I wanted to do is go through the process of, of, of what I go through on a treatment day. So I'm going to take you through the whole process today. Uh, and then we're going to talk about side effects afterwards. So the, the process begins actually before I leave. I have to prep uh, for the treatment before uh, I leave for the treatment. And I typically do this about a half hour before my treatment. And what I'm going to be doing, I apologize, you're going to see my chest and stomach. Um, but uh, what they've done is, is I have a, a prescription for lidocaine which I apply in two areas um, because it numbs the area and when they stick you, uh, it doesn't hurt. Um, and it works really great. So let me begin with that. And again, apologize for the, uh, for the look here, but I'm gonna start with my port, which is right here. And I take the lidocaine cream, if I can get the top off, and uh, I apply, if I find it, a big dollop right in the middle uh, of, of it. Uh, so there's the, the dollop of cream. It's right there on, on, the, on the port. And what I take is a press, glad press and seal. Uh, and I just put that over. And this stuff works really well. It keeps the, it sticks to your skin and it will keep uh, the goop there. The goop has to be on for at least 45 minutes I found for it to work. So that's why I do it a half hour before my appointment. The second spot I do, and I apologize again, you can see my surgery scars, but I get an injection uh, in my abdomen during the treatment, which I'll show you later on, um, uh, it, that's an anti-nausea and, and they do it subcutaneously and it releases over time. So it's, it works very well too. The needle is very big. You don't necessarily have to lidocaine your port. It hurts for a second, but it's, it's a prick. But I figure why go through any pain if you don't have to. Um, this you have to do. And so I pick the spot, I switch it every time. It was on this side last treatment, so now it's gonna be on this side. And I just pick the spot, and again, I put a big dollop of that, of the cream, where they're gonna stick the needle. And again, I'm gonna take the press and seal and just lay that on top there. And again, it'll keep, it'll keep everything there. It doesn't ooze out over the side. And surprisingly enough, it actually stays in place. So that, that is uh, the beginning. That's how I prep for the appointment. And uh, uh, so now I'm gonna shut the cameras off. I'm gonna head over to the hospital, uh, to the infusion clinic. And I'll see you uh, when I get there. So I'm at the doctor's office. Uh, now I'm just waiting to see the doctor. We're going to talk a little bit. This happens every time just to see how I've done through the last treatment. And, um, and then he will uh, show me to where we get the infusions. And that will start. Uh, again, excited that this is the last one. So here we go, we're gonna access the port. And again, I won't even feel anything. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. 
See? Yeah. Not, not nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're just taking the blood again. Okay, and there's blood? Yep. <laughs> no big deal. And then they'll run it through the machines to yeah. make sure where my white blood cells and red blood cells and all that are. Okay. So now I'm getting it's in the half an hour Because um, I'm going to give you your shot. Remember? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So this will be, again, as I told you, I the uh, spot there on the stomach, that is a, an anti-nausea med. Um, it helps you for the next three right. to five days. Nausea. So... And again, realize it's a little graphic, but uh, this lidocaine keeps it from hurting. <laughs> and it's a big needle. <laughs> uh, it's not a long one. Not long, just thick. But, but because the medicine is thick, you know, yep. we have to... So again, that right. I didn't feel anything, and that's the nice thing, but... Uh, you feel it a little bit going in. It's not that big of a deal, but it's subcutaneous and it will release over time. Oh, okay. Yep. So it creates a pocket in there and it slowly releases the medicine. So you won't have any nausea and vomiting for the next three to five days. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So this stuff goes in intravenously. Um, I'm sucking on a hard candy because I can taste it. Uh, the taste for me is like burnt plastic. <laughs> um, but the hard candy helps. So that's going right into the port too. Um, again, another anti-nausea. All right. So this is a heart protectant. And it's a big bag, but it goes fairly quick. It, has to be dripping fast. <laughs> um, so it takes 45? Mm -hmm. 45 minutes. Yeah. 45 minutes for this to. So we've got some saline up there. Uh, just to flush. Just the to flush the a little bit. And then we're about to do the adriamycin called doxorubicin sometimes called the red devil <laughs> sometimes. I'm sorry. Um, and this is done through, um, it's a manual push through the IV. And it's an interesting process because they have to push very slowly but then pull back yeah, to blood. make sure that blood comes out to make sure that the port is not failing. Because um, otherwise it can cause <laughs> Great damage <laughs> to, to the insides. So, but as you can see, it's red, uh, very red. Okay, and let's check for blood. So they pull back first. There. And they see some blood, and then go ahead and start pushing. And I, I should say that none of these things, at least for me, I don't feel them. It doesn't feel like anything. Um, side effects for me kick in tonight, starting just with uh, losing my appetite. Um, but I can, I'm going to go have lunch after this because <laughs> I'm hungry right now. <laughs> But we've got two vials, two syringes, I should say, of of this, and it takes fifteen about fifteen minutes. Fifteen over, minutes. over fifteen, yeah. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Okay, so the adriamycin is done. Now we're just kind of flushing the the the, the tube, lines. the lines. Yeah. yeah. So you'll see the red disappear eventually. Um, but now. Um, we're going to put in, put on the new Lasta, uh, which we've done a video on before, but I'll show them, show you just attaching it again, and uh, uh, we'll go from there. 
Yeah, and it says full. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to just attach the new last as you saw in my last video, but we're going to attach that now. And okay, so I'm back home now. The entire process took approximately three hours uh, from start to finish. Uh, so really not that bad. Again, I want to stress that everybody reacts differently to chemo. Every process is different. Every hospital has different procedures and whatever. So um, hopefully th this gave you a glimpse as to what it's like. But remember, this is my typical chemo or, or what it's been like for me uh, the last eight cycles. Now I want to talk about bit about side effects uh, that happen. And I can tell you, again, everybody reacts differently. Some people will have similar side effects. Some people will have worse side effects. Um, some people will have less side effects. Everybody reacts differently. So these are the side effects that I've been experiencing um, throughout this process. One tip that I strongly suggest if you're about to start chemo, or even if you have recently started it and you're not doing this, is to keep a journal, a daily journal, of the symptoms, side effects that, that you experience. What you will find is that eventually you will see a pattern, and, the, and you'll be able to tell what days you're going to feel good um, and what days uh, are going to be bad and, and how to combat that. You'll also be able to take that information back to your doctor so that if you're having really bad issues that they can help and prescribe things to help mitigate those issues. Uh, again, these are side effects that I've experienced uh, I kept a journal. I stopped doing it a couple weeks ago um, because I already had the side effects down and now that we're, you know, today was the last cycle. So I know pretty much what I'm going to expect uh, as we go forward. And the side effects actually will start this evening for me. <clears throat> a lot of times it takes two or three days to start, but I already know uh, based on every other cycle, that uh, I will lose my appetite by this evening. Um, that's the first thing that goes for me. And I pretty much don't have an appetite for a week and a half, uh, sometimes longer. It's not nausea at this point that does kick in, but it's just, uh, just no appetite, no desire to, to eat. <clears throat> so that will start this evening. So then the slight nausea kicks in. And again, for some people, this doesn't happen for several days. But for me, uh, I know that starting sometime tomorrow, I will start getting a, a, a very slight nauseous feeling. Now, I'm on meds, as you saw during uh, the infusion today. I had three different types of anti-nausea that was given to me. All of them will last. Uh, the, the subcutaneous one, you saw, saw the shot in the stomach. That should last uh, about three days, but I also have some pills that, that I take. I, I have um, Compazine if I need it. Uh, starting Sunday, I will take for three days uh, a drug called Olanzapine, which shuts off the nausea and nerves in, in your brain. I only take it for three days. That's it. <clears throat> Uh, apparently it can be highly addictive or cause some other issues. Uh, so I only take it for three days. And then uh, I do have uh, Marinol if, if it's needed. Um, but the nausea that I have, even though it's pretty constant, it's always there, I can't seem to really totally get rid of it. It's mild. It's very mild nausea. I don't get sick. I don't vomit. Uh, I know a lot of people do, but I'm very lucky 
uh, that that hasn't happened to me uh, with, with the chemo. However, starting tomorrow, constipation kicks in, and that's because of the anti-nausea drugs and how many I'm taking. So that will kick in. So what I do for that is I will take a stool softener starting tonight. Uh, in the morning, when I have my coffee, I, I have Marilax in, in, mixed in with my coffee. And then later in the day, I will take uh, a glass of Metamucil. So with those three things, usually uh, by Monday, things should be, Monday or Tuesday, things are pretty much cleared up uh, with the constipation. <clears throat> so then I, I just continue with Marilax uh, for pretty much most of the week next week. Um, we'll do that uh, until I'm sure that uh, I, I don't need anything else um, to help me go. Also, starting on Monday, uh, usually it's Sunday and Monday, uh, the fatigue really kicks in. And the fatigue has is one of the side effects that has gotten worse with each cycle. Uh, so I know that on Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday, I will want to sleep a lot during the day. Uh, I will get up, I'll take the dog for a short walk because I can't handle a long walk uh, with her. Um, but I will, I will take the walk and then come in and lie down and I will be out for several hours. Um, it's, it's that strong, the fatigue hits. Uh, it wasn't as bad during the first couple cycles, but it is something that has gotten worse with every cycle. Also, another thing that starts uh, on, usually starts Sunday and will last for three or four days, is I get, and this was unusual, it, it wasn't, my, my oncologist uh, really hasn't heard of anybody having this before, but with every single cycle, I get sensitivity to my skin behind my neck, uh, under my arms, and uh, in the upper chest, uh, and on my back. So starting on on Sunday, lasting three or four days is the sensitivity to my skin. Uh, I really feel it when I'm in the shower washing, you know, washing my neck or under my arms. Um, it, it, it is painful to the touch. Only lasts, uh, again, three or four days. Don't know if it's the chemo or possibly the new Lasta that's doing it. I do know that it only lasts a few days and then it's gone. So uh, nothing really to worry about. As with most people uh, and any chemo, uh, chemo does affect your immune system, specifically your white blood cells. So I know for me, my white blood cell counts drop to almost nothing starting in a, in a couple days. And, and uh, it peaks usually towards the end of the week next week. Uh, the Nulasta is what I take to help boost my white blood cell counts. The Nulasta does work, but it usually takes about nine days for it to kick in. So my white blood cell counts are very low and, and, very, and I'm very susceptible then to infections. So I quarantine myself in the house here Starting tomorrow, I'll be quarantined and uh, I will stay quarantined usually uh, for about a week or so. But that's just something I do. Uh, again, you don't want to catch anything, especially right now, the flu is going around like crazy. And so I want to stay away from people and make sure that I don't capture uh, anything like a cold or flu that uh, could really mess things up. Obviously, one of the most obvious ones is hair loss. Now, I was bald to begin with, uh, male pattern baldness, but all this obviously has gone away. I have lost my eyebrows, my eyelashes, my nose hair. Actually, I've lost hair everywhere except for my legs and my back of all places. Um, one place I wish I didn't have hair, I still have it. Uh, lost hair everywhere else. Obviously, that's a very known uh, side effect. 
and I know that within a few months, hair will start growing back. I get itchy, dry skin. This apparently is also another side effect uh, that I wasn't quite aware of, but I usually get itchy, dry skin in the winter anyway, but it's been even more so, more pronounced, particularly my hands, my my belly uh, gets very itchy and my legs get very itchy. So, so that's been just an annoyance, um, but it happens every winter anyway. So I use some good lotion and that usually helps uh, with it quite a bit. Now here's something that is, tip, is for men and something I had no idea uh, that was a side effect, but I actually got jock itch uh, from this. So apparently you are susceptible to fungal infection when you're on chemo. So I've got a, a prescription cream uh, that I use that, that helps uh, with the itching. And hopefully now that this chemo is done, that, that the itching will stop uh, eventually. But um, for women, I understand it's common to get yeast infections. Um, if you're on chemo. Again, fungal infections are, are a, a possibility when you're on chemo, and I was lucky enough to get one. So some of the side effects that I did not get that are more typical, but you know, some people get and some people don't. Again, I mentioned vomiting. I've been very lucky that hasn't happened to me, and, and I am so thankful. That was probably the one side effect I was most worried about. Um, but that really hasn't happened. And um, so very happy with that. Another one that can be very, very painful is mouse sores. So I started early on uh, from my very first treatment, um, rinsing my mouth uh, twice a day with uh, biotin uh, or some other type of mouth rinse, not, not a mouth wash. You don't want to use alcohol, but with a mouth rinse, um, uh, medicated mouth rid, rinse, like biotin. And uh, I've been lucky. There have been no uh, mouth sores whatsoever. Uh, so I understand that some people do get those and they are quite painful. So I, I've been very lucky with that. The other thing is with Nulasta, some people get joint and bone pain. Um, I have not received any of that uh, from the new Lasta. Uh, again, I think the sensitive skin might be from that, but it only lasts a few days. Uh, I do know that um, people who do get the bone and joint pain from the new Lasta uh, take Claritin before they get the injection and a few days after, and that seems to help with their bone and joint pain. So again, things to do, again, Definitely keep a daily journal. Find out, you know, what your good and bad days will be because there will be a pattern uh, and you'll be able to then plan things for the days that you're feeling, uh, feeling good. For me, I think one of the reasons I've been so lucky with not having vomiting and the nausea being as mild as it is, is even though I don't have an appetite and even though I have the slight nausea, I force myself to eat and I will, I will eat three meals a day. If it's really bad, I might just drink a protein drink, but having something in your stomach, keeping the protein in so that you're not losing so much weight is extremely important to do. And believe it or not, it does help with the, the nausea. And then lastly, drink lots of water. Uh, you need to flush your system out. You wanna flush you know, the chemo uh, uh, out of you. It's doing its job. It's not like you're diluting it or anything, but you need to stay hydrated, especially if you are uh, prone to having vomiting or whatever. Uh, you need to stay hydrated. And I do believe that staying hydrated has helped again with those side effects. Uh, so what I do, uh, I've mentioned this before on uh, earlier videos, is I have a very large uh, bottle. It's 24, uh, 750 milliliters, so 24, 25 ounces. I drink three of these at least a day. 
So those are the side effects that I deal with. If others have other ideas or, or comments, please feel, you know, write a comment that might help others uh, in the comment section here. Uh, I will be having my next scans, uh, get the scans on April 5th. I will be getting the results on April 9th. So I will do an update video as to how those scans go. I'm excited that I am done with treatment. Uh, this was my last of eight cycles. Excited that it's done and uh, excited that I'm excited to have a summer this year. So we will talk to you again in a few weeks. I hope you all are doing well. And if you find these videos helpful, again, you know, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell uh, and you'll get notified when new videos are, are posted. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Dave's Fight Crew. Uh, you'll be able to see when I post videos on that too. Have a great day and we will talk to you soon. Bye.